So the, the main focus of work in our lab is to go after the structure of uh, dynamic protein assemblies, small and large, and also heterogeneous entities, retroviruses, HIV, whole cells, uh, organelles in, in cells, which uh, are clearly one-of-a-kind objects. One of the fun aspects of uh, working with structural biology of uh, the things we analyze is converting them to touchable science. In, in collaboration with people at the National Library of Medicine, we, uh, we try to convert many of our key mo models into 3D printouts. We don't just look at structures on the screen, but essentially can t you know, pr print them and, and grab them and actually look at the structures and visualize the spatial relationships. Here's an example of an HIV uh, spike that is bound to a neutralizing antibody, and there's an exploded view where you're actually peeking in to this protein complex. And this is, uh, if you look at it like so, this is the vantage point of the cell. So as this virus gets towards the cell, it's, you're looking at it and getting the same view that a T-cell might get of the virus coming in. Here's a similar picture of an influenza virus. It's got all these spikes poking out, and that's what it uses to get into cells. This is uh, a protein complex called the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. It's uh, basically a, a small protein machine. It's about 50 nanometers or so across. And in there are things that are moving around, and their job is to synthesize acetyl coenzyme A, fascinating molecule. Uh, the more structures we do, we run out of uh, ways of doing them one at a time, so we print trays of structures. Here's a tray of HIV spikes, all different kinds, different strains, different complexes, and uh, we, we learn a lot by comparative analysis of looking at the variations of, of these protein complexes, and, uh, but mostly it makes it fun.